Well, it was going to be a really motivational quote about the sun is rising on my training this year and literally until Winston saw a rabbit and just tried to chase it out of the lawn. Cool, Winston. Real cool. It is 6 o'clock in the morning and it is the first day, the first full training day of the 2020 season. Uh, today we're going into Kansas City. We're going to a sprinting, kind of like a speed gym. Because two of the things that was not good at the CrossFit Games this year, they both started with an S, and it was sprinting and swimming. And so, obviously, in order to attack weaknesses, we're going to go work on our sprinting. Because for all you guys who had a heart attack during the sprinting workout to see if I made the top 10, we're going to make sure that never happens again. We're going to make sure that never happens again. You're welcome, everybody. Anyways, we're going into Kansas City to go to a sprinting gym for the first session. I'm not going to take my camera in because, to be honest, this is my first session with them. And I don't want to walk into the camera for my first session and be that guy and get looked at weird. And then they ask me, what are you doing with a camera? And I don't know how to respond. All right, so just finished up with session one at KC Speed and Sport. Um, it was actually really good. Um, uh, it was obviously my first session with them. I uh, met the guy who's probably going to be training me going into the future um, to work on my sprinting, change of direction, and, and like I mentioned, acceleration. Um, we really worked on just the basics, like super, super basics. I mean, to be honest, like... I didn't do track growing up and I wasn't the greatest sprinter and never have been. And so honestly, all we really worked on was like a skips. Like that was pretty much it. We warmed up, rolled out, stretched a little bit. He had me take off my shoes, do a lot of stuff barefoot to make sure, you know, like, you know, like any good coach should do. You want to check and make sure the people you're PT can actually do like basic things, you know, like, can I squat? You know, what does my glute activation look like? Just stuff like that. And then we really got into it and pretty much worked on a skips, whether they were banded or, you know, like I should point my toe up and stuff like that for pretty much like 30 minutes. And then we spent the last five, 10 minutes working on just really slow change of direction and making sure I get my center of gravity really low uh, when I change direction because I, I tend to stand really high or stutter step not right or you know take a, a bunch of little jumps around like a little fairy and so we really worked on how to change direction in a really slow kind of controlled pace so anyways, it was really good um, I'm probably gonna end up working with them in the future um, I got a lot out of it and something like that if I, even if I can improve like a small a bit just a small bit here and there um, just on sprinting, that's that's huge at the games. That's that's 20, 30 points that I can I can cash in the bank and keep for later. And maybe that's a fifth place. Maybe that's a fourth place at the games later in uh, next year. So, anyways, probably gonna end up going back. It was a good first session though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, five by ten back squat. Like my legs haven't suffered already. It's like a slap in the face. Interrupt this broadcast to bring you slow motion videos of Winston. We got one Metcon standing between us and being done with this session. Standing between us, eating food, laying on the couch, and getting licked in the face by Winston until we have to start up again for the third session, but I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, the Metcon is we have two, every two minutes for five rounds, so 10 minutes total. We are doing a 400 meter row, and then with the time remaining, 
as many devil's press as possible at 50 pounds. I know, I know what you're thinking. Holy crap, Jacob, I'm pretty sure this session is meant to murder your legs. And I would wholeheartedly agree with you on that. It's gonna be a miracle tomorrow if I can walk. <laughs> Truly a miracle. I decide, you know what? A good goal is let's just go for fives for the first couple rounds, get a, a pretty good average pace. And then if I want to crank it up, I can crank it up. Yeah, I didn't crank it up, guys. I didn't crank it up whatsoever. That 400 meters about kicked me in the teeth. Oh, you know why probably my legs hurt during that workout? Probably because of the five by 10 back squats, the box step ups, the Russian lunges, the sled push and the goblet squats. But you know, I didn't do any legs before it. Not at all. Well, second session is done for the day in C3 and in case you guys are wondering, it was all legs. <laughs> so I'm hoping tonight, it's all arms. But I think I've seen tonight, and I'm pretty sure it's more cleans. So, more legs. Fabulous. <laughs> Uh, second workout after the games, we're gonna see how uh, much Jake's been training since the games. He has a competition this weekend. And that was session three. Some three position cleans, then we did some cleans, some pause front squats that really kicked my teeth in pretty bad. And then some like elevator uh, clean high pulls, and then a little nasty gymnastics metcon because I don't need any more legs for the day, and I don't really have any more legs, like, they're dead. Anyways, we're gonna go get in, jump in the cold tub right now. Freeze our legs off, freeze our legs off. 35 degrees. Meanwhile, on the Fit8 talk show, Jake's gonna do an algebra equation for us in his head. Can't do algebra when it's normal, dude. <laughs> Just two bros chilling in the hot tub. Wish I could show you the romantic lighting behind us. There's bulb lights on. Mm. It's quite romantic. Hey, just want to say a real quick thanks to everybody watching this. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching this. It, I really appreciate it. Um, it's really fun for me to put out content like this, and it's really fun to be the engage people and have some engaging content where we can go back and forth and ask questions about my training or ask questions about my nutrition or ask Winston a question about his best hair product. He's all natural. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.